Welcome to SAP UI5 video tutorials. So in this session, we will have a look at filtering concept, sorting and grouping concept in a list. So these all are important concepts or functionalities within SAP.m.list control. So here we will just see how to filter a list on the basis of a particular prop property and uh, we have to sort and we have to group the list. So we will just see all these functionalities in a list with the help of a pro practical demonstration. So first we will be taking a look at the filtering functionality in sap.m.list control. Afterwards we will be looking the sorting and grouping functionality in the list control itself. So let me just show you the OData, OData URL that we are using. So this is the service that we are using and let me just show you the metadata and for that I will have to add dollar metadata after the URL. So this is the metadata for all the entity sets but we are interested in the product entry entity set. So we could see here different fields here product ID, type code, category, name. So if we have to filter on the basis of name in the list so we could see here SAP, dot, SAP filterable is false. So we couldn't use the name for filtering purpose. So that's why we will be using here product ID. Here nothing is mentioned as false, so we will be using product ID. Let me just show you the list here in the view. So we have already made this list in the previous session. So here I will be adding a header toolbar and within the header toolbar I will be adding the title of the list and then I will be adding the search field where this filterable functionality would work. So I will just remove this header text from here since I will be using the title in the header toolbar itself. So I have this code with me header toolbar I'll just copy it from here and I am going to paste it here. So within the header toolbar I have the toolbar control and within the toolbar control I have these three controls that is one is the title then one is the toolbar spacer and one is the search field and I have closed the toolbar and header toolbar tags. So, so let me just show you the search field here in the SAP UI5 explode. This is the search field and within the search field we have the properties for this width. So it takes a CSS value. So here it is given 100%. Let me just change it to 40%. So that's fine and this search here this is an event of the search field. So here it is. So I have mentioned here and this should be mentioned in the controller. I have code for that. So I have written the code for on filter products. So whenever if I just click on search and click the icon that is search this function would get triggered. So there is some error here. Filter is not defined. Okay. This filter is not defined and the filter operator is not defined. So we will define it, it here. And here I will just write filter and filter operator. Filter and filter operator. Now no error is coming. So I could have written here sap.ui.model.filter and could have written here sap.ui.model.filter operator. So this is the best practice that we are following here. So I need not write like that. So here I will just explain you what's going on in the filter products function. So here we have this A filter which is an array. We are getting an empty array here. Then we have S query. We are getting the parameter based on the query ID. And then we have this variable named as O list. 
here we are getting the reference of the list that we have used in the view based on this product I, products list ID so that's done then in the O binding variable we are getting the binded items on the basis of this list and if there is some value in the S query which is this one if we are getting any value then the flow of control would go to this particular line where we are pushing in new filters based on the product ID so that's it and if we have to use some other field on the basis we have to filter then we should have write, written it something else if like if we had to use type code then we sh we would have written here type code so basic thing is this on the basis of which field we should filter the search so let me just save this and let me just save the view so now if I just run this application I would get a list which would be filterable on the basis of product ID so I have to give my username and all so let me just copy my username and all so here it is so search field didn't appear I wonder why is there any error okay I haven't saved it there is star coming here let me just save it and run it again so here it is my title is coming and there is this toolbar spacer and then we have the search field so we had to align the search field in the right that's why we have used this toolbar spacer which is somewhere here so now uh, on the basis of product IDs of all these list I could be I could filter the list so let me just copy this and paste it here and if I just click on this particular button this this function would get triggered okay and this should be the result of the filter and it is so our filter is working fine let me just remove this and search again all the list should be populated yes it is now one functionality is finished now let's moving on to the sorting functionality so we will be sorting on the basis of category here so category is also true if we had chosen name here so SAP sortable is false so we won't be choosing name we would be choosing category let me just copy the code from here and here in the items section I will be pasting my code so we have given the path path was same and the sorter here we are using and in the path we are using the category on the basis of which we have to categorize or sort the list I am I am just saving this and note this we will be sorting our list and this this is our initial output if I just refresh my output this all will be sorted okay and it worked fine on the basis of category we are getting this all sorted now what we will do this uh, the second functionality is finished now we have to implement the third functionality and that is grouping and we will be grouping on the basis of category itself and therefore we will just write this simple code group is true that's it simple 
I am just saving it. Now my list would get grouped on the basis of categories. There would be groups of data in the list. Fine. So this is the first group. Accessories can then camcorders, then computer system accessories, similarly many more. So our three functionalities are clear. Hope you understand it. Thanks for listening.